How's it going everyone? Ben here and today we're going to be talking about can you chest feed your baby or future child after having top surgery? And the reason why I'm making this video is because there's honestly not a lot of people talking about being transgender and future family planning. I also really want to emphasize, especially to my cis viewers, that chest feeding your baby uh, is not a requirement to be a parent when you are transgender. It is strictly a personal choice that a trans person makes and I am covering it because a lot there, there's not much information out there in social media about being a parent and making those decisions of your body so that you can provide for your child. So that's why I'm making this video and especially if you are someone who is pre-op and wants to have a child and wants to think about whether or not they want to chest feed their child, I think it's very important for them to know whether or not it's possible for them to chest feed their child after they have top surgery. Regardless of whatever method of top surgery you get done, almost every single one is a way to minimize the tissue on your chest. So the surgeon's best interest is to remove as much tissue there as possible, including fat and any form of mammary glands and ducts that attach to your nipple. The surgeon will get rid of almost all of it to masculinize your chest. And unfortunately, you need those glands in order to make milk and you need those ducts attached to your nipples to be able to secrete the milk so that your baby can drink it. Unfortunately, even if you do get top surgery that preserves your mammary ducts, unfortunately, if you have any form of nipple correction or nipple grafts, those ducts that attach to your nipples often get destroyed in the process when they realign your nipples. So even if you do have functioning mammary glands, you might not be able to secrete milk because of nipple grafts. Also, it's very hard for surgeons to accommodate for people who want to keep some of those anatomical parts so they can chest feed their child because those ducts are incredibly small and hard to see by the naked human eye. I personally did a um, mastectomy on a cadaver and it was very hard. I, I couldn't tell what was what. So I definitely understand why anatomically it's very hard to preserve those ducks so that's something you should be very aware of you can't just request your surgeon to hey can you preserve these things because it's almost entirely impossible to do unless we create new modern medicine which might take a couple of decades uh, to basically flesh out if you are the lucky few individuals that do that are able to produce milk after having top surgery and nipple grafts you might still need to supplement some of your chest feeding with formula or milk donations because you probably will not produce enough. That goes into the second part of this video. If you have had top surgery done already and you do want to provide human milk to your child, there are multiple options available to you to provide human milk to your child. You don't have to strictly formula feed, although I will say that it can be a bit expensive. However, if it's something that you really want and you really want to invest in, there are solutions. The primary solution is to see if there is a local milk bank in your state. There is a website that you can look at. I will post that website down here, but that website will allow you to see the local milk banks in your area where you can actually buy human milk that people have donated. Uh, to that bank. Number two, if you have a relationship with someone that can lactate and ha has those anatomical parts that allow them to lactate and secrete milk, then you can make them part of your child rearing team and get your physician involved in that process. The physician can prescribe certain hormones to that person so they can begin to lactate and they can supplement milk to your child. So it's not something that you should be incredibly depressed about if you just if you have just realized in this video that no I can't can no longer chest feed my child because I've had top surgery nope that's nothing to be concerned about because there are solutions that's it for this video on whether or not you can lactate after having top surgery done I hope you got something out of it I hope you found it informational and I hope you will share it with someone that can benefit from this information and I want to say that I haven't forgotten about trans feminine 
individuals and transgender women in my video series of transgender healthcare is just that I am more adept and the knowledge of trans masculine healthcare, but I do am planning on making those videos soon in the near future. I just want to be very well informed before I make those videos. Um, thank you for watching. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life and I'll see you on the next one. This has been. Hi kid, baby. <laughs>